here is the CF20. All right, Ryan is gonna demonstrate. <coughs> Please go ahead, sir. All right, so first you gotta start by having the tablet portion separated from the base keyboard dock. Um, that's fairly simple. Then what you need to do is take off the back plate, two release switches, plate comes off, you can set that to the side. Then next you gotta take out the battery, just one switch there, battery comes out, set that off to the side. Now I already went and took the screws out, but there's a few screws on a plate here, these empty holes. You take all those screws out, and this plate comes right off. You just set that to the side. Everything else is in there. There's your WAN card. Pre-installed the EM7355 M.2 WAN card. Now to get this out, you just need it. first there's the piece of tape on top. You just pull that off. And then just disconnect the two wires here. Yeah, and then there's just one screw holding that card in. Card comes right out. Now for this guy, the ca instead of leaving the cables just swinging around, that screw back in. There actually is a place for him on this board here, but to get to it, you have to take out this ribbon and slip them underneath. So pull those two to the side. This little guy has a little switch on the back. It's very tiny, so you got to be very careful. Just flip that up to release it. Okay, ribbon comes out. Hold that back, and then you just gotta peel up this piece of tape here. That comes back, and then you can read them. It's hard to read. Um, there's main module, uh, main antenna, sub module, sub antenna. We're going to the sub mod and the sub antenna. This is where we're putting these two. So the gray one, which was main, goes to your modular. And your green one here goes to your antenna. Attach those there, re-tape that down. And then you just gotta put it back together. So slide the ribbon cable back in. kind of tricky with those other wires there. Once that's back in, press little black bracket down. You're all set with taking the card out. Now it's just putting the machine back together, which is placing the tray back on top, putting the screws back in, battery, and then your plate goes back on top, make sure it's flat, and then slide it. Now to install a card, it's the same way. Same process. Pop it open. Take out the battery. Undo the screws. Take your plate off. Same process. First, you got to get up the ribbon so you can get your wires out. Peel back that piece of tape. And then just detach your wires. Pull those to the side. And at this point, you can go ahead and put your ribbon back in. Because you don't need to go over there anymore. So it's in there. Slide the little black bracket down. Just press it. Alright, now to the card. Pull up the piece of tape. Because that'll just secure the card down. Take your screwdriver, pull out the single screw. Go ahead and slide your card in. Make sure it's nice and snug when you put it in there so it lines up. Screw it in. And the tricky part, getting the cables on. Now normally your neutral tone color, so the gray cable would be your main. But you kind of just have to bend it a little bit. Snap that on there. And then your green one, uh, a lot of the time green is associated with your GPS, but for WAN cards it goes on your auxiliary and not your GPS cable. 
Alright, once that's on there, let's tape that down over the top. Helps keep the cable secure on there. And close it back up. Same process with just putting the plate back on. Then goes in your battery. Screws, obviously. And then the case plate. Make sure it's flat, then slide it up. You're all set. Now uh, your card's installed. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Mm -hmm.